Today we're going to be reviewing context clues and text illustrations. We'll learn um, how we can use text illustrations to help us understand what we are reading. Some things I want you to think about as we're going through. How do you know what a word means? How do certain words help us understand what I am reading? And how do illustrations enhance my understanding? Quickly, there are five different kinds of clues we can use when we're looking at a new word. We can look for a definition in sentences around the word. We can look for synonyms, antonyms. We can use inferences and connections with what we already know, or we can look for an example in the text. In your next assignment, you'll be looking at these as you read the Velveteen Rabbit. For text illustrations, once we are finished with this lesson, I want you to write out what you have learned about text illustrations and how they can help you as a reader. First, we're going to look at some vocabulary. The first word is aspect. The word aspect means something specific. You can write this down on your class kick as well. So maybe an illustration will show something specific that the words don't tell you about. An illustration can also show you the mood. Maybe the coloring is very dark and it makes you think um, that it is a sad setting or a sad mood. So the illustration can show you how to feel when you're reading it. Illustration is just a drawing. We've learned this when we were looking at text features. It's a drawing representing something. It's different than a photograph because it is not a actual picture. Contribute means something added. So if you're working on a group project and you contribute something, that means that you add parts. And convey. Convey means to show. So a illustration, a text illustration, might show you something that the words do not. Go ahead, write these in your class kick. If you need to pause, you may pause. And we'll continue going. So how do illustrations help tell the story? Illustrations show us what is happening with the character and the place or setting of the story. They also give us more details about what is happening in the story. And finally, they can tell us the mood of the story. It is, is the character happy, excited, sad, or angry? Let's look at an example. In the picture, without looking at um, any of the text, I want you to think about these questions. What is happening to the character in the illustration? And what, in what place? What is the setting? You can see that they are probably on a roller coaster at a um, amusement park, maybe. Looking at their face, how do you think the character is feeling? pretty happy because they have a smile on their face. Does the illustration tell us about what kind of mood the character is? They're probably really excited or thrilled because they're on a thrill ride. Is the character happy, sad, excited, confused, worried, or angry? You could tell that they're excited and happy because they're smiling and their hands are up. Could the illustration add to the meaning of a story? Think about if the story underneath said, um, Susan went to the amusement park. Now we don't know if Susan had a good time just by reading those words, but we can see by the picture that it was a fun day at the amusement park. Let's look at another example. As you are reading, I want you to think about the questions around the text that we looked at in the following slide. So before we read, I'm going to look at the illustration. I see a happy sun. I see some kites. I see a little bear holding a kite and a little girl. 
One windy day, little bear went to the park to fly his new kite. Bear was excited when he saw a good, his good friend Sophie flying her kite too. Little bear wasn't sure how to fly his kite. So he asked Sophie, can you help me fly my kite? Sophie said that she would be happy to help little bear. The two friends had a splendid afternoon flying their kites together. So we can see that they are both happy. They both have smiles on their face. So that shows me the mood. What other things do you think this picture adds to the story? What was the weather like that day? You can see in the illustration that it was sunny with a couple of clouds. It didn't say that in the text, but we can see that in the illustration. What do the illustrations tell you about what the character is like? If you look at the bear, does he look confident or does he look a little shy? So maybe you could make that um, inference that he is a little shy. Now on Friday, we're gonna look at some other, some other text illustrations and ask these same questions and see how they can help us become better readers. Now back on your class kick, I want you to write three ways that illustrations can help you understand a story that you learned today.